For this week's review vlog, I'm going to be talking about the 1993 film Jurassic Park. And it was directed by Steven Spielberg, and everybody knows the story of Jurassic Park. A group of people get invited to this test run of this place, um, theme park with dinosaurs, and it does not go as planned. And the dinosaurs do break out of their cages, and some technical issues uh, surface and basically it all goes to crap and <laughs> the dinosaurs get free and the humans are no match for dinosaurs. In the end the very few people, uh, ma mainly the main characters, make it out and I mean like there's a few well-known actors, uh, Jeff Goldblum and uh, Laura Derm are in it and everyone knows Jeff Goldblum, he's a big uh, actor and the two young children make it out with their grandpa, and their grandpa was the one who invited all these uh, scientists and mathematicians and his grandchildren to come and view the island where, you know, Jurassic Park is. And basically, this film is very well known. It has many, you know, fans. It has many remakes, which some of them are good and some of them are not so good. And some of them do... Uh, use the the whole world of Jurassic Park and kind of some of the movies have in my opinion at least ruined the whole um, kind of vibe I guess of Jurassic Park it kind of the first one I think was just so iconic and everyone knows that T-Rex sound from anywhere. I mean, people use it for their ringtones. It's just so iconic and everyone knows it so well. It's in theme parks around the world. It's in Universal. There's rides and many, many clearly remakes that have, some of them have not made as much money as they should have. And they have gotten a lot of more well-known actors like Chris Pratt was in the most recent one, Jurassic World. And Mainly this movie I think was iconic for the way it was filmed. Now the camera scenes and sure the dinosaurs are edited very well and for this time to see these type of creatures that some people might believe lived on this earth and some others don't, they make it look so real. And now with the movies that we have today in the CGI it does not look as believable when you watch the 1993 one, it does not look as believable, but to people then, these dinosaurs seemed real and they looked so realistic on screen. People thought that, you know, they were real dinosaurs running around somewhere. And which personally I would think would be pretty awesome. Not really the best plan because, you know, dinosaurs could break out and it could be very realistic uh, if they were ever created. Not, not a good thing, but I think it would be pretty cool. Anyways, people did believe that these dinosaurs were real, but the reason that this film was so iconic was the camera scenes, the camera angles in this movie were, in my opinion, one of the best parts of the film, and one of my favorite scenes in the movie was the T-Rex scene when he breaks out of his um, enclosed area with the two Jurassic Park trucks and the children are in one and the two men are in the other truck. And everyone knows this is one of the more well-known scenes just because everybody loves the T-Rex in Jurassic Park. And in the end, he does end up kind of saving their lives. He would have eaten them anyways, but he still technically does save their life. But he breaks out of his cage. And the way they film this scene, a lot of the camera angles in this movie are used from the outside of where something is occurring, like the location. And for example, in this exact scene where the T-Rex breaks out, they use the camera angle and the camera's on the outside of the car and it's raining. And I think it's some, one of the coolest things because it's on the outside of the car and all of the water droplets and the rain is on the car and you can see through and see the kids and their reactions and it's the camera moves with them and it moves with the T-Rex and it shows the T-Rex point of view but it also shows the children's point of view and just not basic scenes where it would be the camera in the car zooming in on the children's faces it's on the outside of the car which I just thought was so amazing and there's so many other camera angles in this movie where it's from the inside of something I remember in the end there was 
one really distinct one where it was inside the skeleton of the dinosaur that they were hanging on when the velociraptors were attacking them and it was the camera was kind of like inside the skeleton and it kind of like moved out which I just thought was amazing because it kind of showcased how they were getting out of the skeleton of this dinosaur at the same time so it was it was just it made the audience or myself feel like I was actually there and actually experience, experiencing it which I thought was amazing probably one of the best things that they the best part of that movie was the camera angles and the movement and when um, one of the ones when the T-Rex was following the car the Jeep and it was it would that was the scene with Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum and the T-Rex was chasing them and the camera was moving with the T-Rex and the Jeep and it was just amazing a lot of the camera angles I mean clearly they they run a lot in this movie <laughs> away from dinosaurs and a lot of it is is moving shots because it's just so many things happening but it the camera it moves so well with all of the action and even with these creatures not being realistic that's why they just feel so real because of the camera angles and how the camera movement with all of the panning and the trucking left and right and following tracking shots it's it's I think made the film so great and just made it so unique with all of these different and interesting camera angles and that's why that's one of the biggest reasons why I really enjoyed this film.